My name is Habib Conte. I've been a member at the church for about four years now. I'm a student at Kennesaw State University. And uh, my experience as a black man hasn't been full of any like super crazy testaments or trials or um, any violence or anything like that. Um, but my experience um, really was more of a fish out of water experience. I grew up in much um, early years in a um, town named Covington. It's a bit far east of Atlanta and the majority population out there is uh, mainly white. Um, there are some other ethnicities out there, but I really um, you know, grew up feeling a bit you know, secluded and, and left out of a lot of things, um, mainly because of you know, my, my skin tone and also my name. Um, my father is from Sierra Leone, so just a combination of being not only African-American, but um, having that African identity too. Um, would really cause me to be, um, you know, bitter and resentful at times. But the the older I got, the more I grew to understand my experience and um, understand who I was and who God made me to be. Um, and, you know, some of that um, resistance and tension in my heart was lightened by just who God was in my life. He was always a gentle and kind and humbling father and it would really just help me to understand the nature of people and the nature of my own um, life and identity. I mean, you know, I just would grow closer to my own father and relating to him and his own experience being in this country. And um, my mom, she would always make these comments about my skin, just reassuring me and you know, comparing the texture and tone of my skin to chocolate. And it was always the sweetest thing. And I would really feel the love from them and the love from God and it grew me into someone who was, um, you know, kinder and gentler and more understanding just about who people are and, you know, why these things happen. So I, I don't, um, you know, I have no, no hate or resentment towards the way I grew up because I know it was for a purpose. I know it was for a reason. And I'm glad it made me who I was. Um, and I'm just glad through it that I've had God, um, you know, helped me to understand why he created me to be the way that I am.